<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. Hi, JJ. Good morning, Mikey. Do you remember when we built houses in the form of portals? Let's do something similar today. I have an idea. Let's build elemental houses. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone. Mikey and I are going to build elemental houses today. And who won? You decide in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. So, for the first round, Mikey and I chose to build a house out of water. So, I take blocks of water, namely steps, semi-blocks, and other blue objects, so that everything is monochrome. I'm starting to build a house with blocks of water. And it already looks very interesting. My house will have only one floor today, so I'm building a roof. Inside, I will make the floor of the house out of lapis lazuli blocks. And I put blue glass in the windows. I put the blue door, and it's done. It remains to put all the furniture inside. With the help of leather armor and lapis lazuli, I make blue armor. And I'm done. I wonder how Mikey is doing. Third round, I am ready. To prevent the house from spilling out of the water, I put up barrier blocks. The water will not be able to spill beyond these blocks. That's a great idea! I hope JJ likes it. Meanwhile... I'm gonna see what he's built. Wow, Mikey! How did you keep the water from spilling? These are the barrier blocks. Do you like? The idea is wonderful. Shall we go and look at my house now? Wow, JJ, after all, your house didn't spill either. How did you do that? I use blocks of water. I'm sure you didn't know that such a thing existed. Round two. It's time for the second round. This time, Mikey and I decided to build a house out of lava. That's why I'm taking lava blocks. Namely, the steps are semi-blocks of glass. In the same way, I start building a house from the ground up. I want to make it big enough. That's the big rectangle I get. Now I'm building diagonally from two sides. I continue the construction upward. And it is already approximately clear what size the house will be. It seems that the frame needs to be adjusted here. Yes, I like it better this way. It already looks intimidating. As usual, I first build the frame, and then I will fill it with lava blocks. See what an interesting shape it turns out to be. Write in the comments, have you already guessed what the house will be in the form of? continue my complex construction higher and higher. It seems that the house will turn out to be just huge. I build another rectangle on top and put blocks diagonally from it in the same way. I continue the framework even higher. Mikey will be surprised when he sees such a huge house. In fact, the house turns out to be a modern building with interesting architecture. 
The frame turned out to be too big, and I can't do it here without a magic wand. I write the command in the command line and fill out the framework very quickly. I'm doing great. In some places, I fill in the frame manually. There's no point in using a magic wand here. Friends, tell me in the comments, do you use a magic wand? You may ask why the house has no side walls. And I planned it so that instead of walls, there will be glass. I think it will be very interesting, and the house will look futuristic. I do the same on the second and third floors. Still, Mikey came up with an interesting idea. The construction turns out to be very exciting. As you have noticed, I also put the glass with a magic wand. It turns out very quickly, I like it. This is where the entrance to the house will be. For more smoothness, I put steps in some places. Now, it's time to do the interior. I'll hang chains between the third and second floors. Then, I'll put hatches at the very bottom. I think it looks very interesting. At the entrance, I put up a large gold armored door. Have you ever seen one like this? I'm putting a beautiful black spiral staircase between the floors. It seems to me that the black color is very suitable for a lava block. Now it's time to do the furniture. I put the bed on the bedside table and hang the paintings. I will definitely make an enchanted room. There is a lot of space for a large room. I will definitely lay a carpet so it looks more cozy. Now the second floor. Here I will have chests and necessarily decorations made of anvils and leaves. I'll leave the stoves on the back and now I'm making a carpet. I really like the combination of orange and black colors. The first floor remains. I also put up decorations here, just like everywhere else. And instead of a carpet, I lay the sand of the shower. This way, it looks more intimidating. And the sand of the shower also matches the color of the lava. I pour lava and plant infernal growths. It seems to be ready. I wonder how my friend is doing. Meanwhile, JJ showed me that there are blocks of even liquid elements. That's why I'm going to build a house out of lava blocks. I'm mapping out a rectangular area. It shows how big the house will be. The construction is very simple and I manage pretty quickly. I've already made the roof, and now I'm putting lava steps on it for more realism. Do you think a lava house can be called realistic? It sounds ridiculous. I fixed some details, and now I'm making a floor in the house. I will leave orange glass in the window so that Everything is in the same color. And I'll put leaves around the house. I think in real life they would have burned down. And that's it. What will JJ say? I'm going to see what he's got. Wow, Mikey, what a great house you've got. He's very handsome. You've done a good job of decorating it. Thank you. Let's go take a look at your house now. JJ, how did you manage everything? What a huge house you've got! I didn't even think about making several floors. It seems you've won this round. Everything is very beautiful inside. Let's go to the second floor soon. Cool! Now, to the third floor. I really like the full-length glass. Round three. It's time for the third round. 
I'll use a little trick and just write teleportation at home using the command line. Nice. I really like the interior. There are not enough stairs in some places, it seems to me. After all, the command line is not an ideal solution. Let's take a look here. Now this way, it looks very good. I wonder what Mikey will think. He'll be surprised how I built such a big house so quickly. Meanwhile... It's time for the third round, and I'm starting construction. We chose the portal as the third element in our challenge. So I take the portal blocks and start building the framework. The frame starts with an ordinary square. And now I'm building a wall. Oh, it seems that the square turned out to be too big. Watch carefully what I'm doing. I'm going to have an unusual house today. I finished filling in the frame and I'm putting purple glass in the remaining places. I really like the idea of building a JJ without walls. The second floor. And finally, the first floor. But for more similarity, I want to put obsidian. It looks like the portal has come to life and decided to escape. The construction is over. I'm already ready to surprise JJ. Time to see what Mikey's got. Wow, what a huge house you've got. I'll tell you a secret. He's much taller than mine. It seems that you won this time, eh? In any case, our viewers will decide. Let's go inside. And it's very nice here. The bed is big enough for you to dance comfortably on it. What's on the fourth floor? Just cabinets? It's boring. Of course, thank you for the pleasant words. But what does boring mean? Let's go take a look at your house. You'd think he'd be the most interesting one. Wow. In fact, the house is very beautiful. Let's go see what's inside. So many things. It's not difficult to get lost here. What kind of room is this? How did you manage all this? I'm glad you were surprised, Mikey. But actually, I was just using the command line. Don't be offended. Really? Then I definitely won. Guys, write in the comments whose house was better. Thank you for being with us today. And I think it's time for us to go. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye. <gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, do you know the recipe for good burgers? Mikey, only SpongeBob knows him. I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a SpongeBob today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello everyone, dear friends. Mikey and I are going to build SpongeBob today. We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. For the first round, I will need different blocks of wool. I'm starting construction. I build SpongeBob shoes out of black wool. I build his socks out of white wool. And now his legs are made of yellow wool. I make his pants out of brown wool. I build the outline of the future building. I build white wool blocks on top. Now I put yellow wool. I put red wool in this empty space. I build his mouth. And now the teeth. I continue to build SpongeBob's face from yellow wool. I build his eyes from blue blocks. Although no, from white blocks of wool.
There's not much left. I shorten his body a little. Build the contour of SpongeBob's head. Rebuild the blocks a little more. Build up the voids behind with blocks of yellow wool. I build his eyelashes out of gray wool. I continue to build up voids with blocks. I'm starting to build SpongeBob arms out of white and yellow wool. I'm building a second arm. Half of the work is ready. I put up a ladder and make a passage. Put up a hatch. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put up a workbench, a lamp, and a bed, a stove, and a chest, and hang a painting on the wall. Great! My SpongeBob house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. Mikey, you've got a great SpongeBob. Well done. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, what an amazing SpongeBob you got. I like it. Thanks, Mikey. Round two. For the second round, I will need different blocks of concrete. To begin with, I'm putting brown concrete. the outline of a future building. Putting white concrete and now black. Building a SpongeBob tie out of red concrete. Putting more blocks of brown concrete Building my SpongeBob's leg out of yellow concrete. Building SpongeBob's second leg. And now his shoes are made of black concrete. I'm building voids in his suit with blocks of white concrete. I build the outline of the building. I start building the SpongeBob head out of yellow concrete. I put a few more blocks on the sides. I build the contour of the SpongeBob mouth. I put pink concrete from the inside. Now, I build another layer out of yellow concrete. I put blocks of red concrete for SpongeBob's mouth. I build his teeth. And now his nose. I continue to build SpongeBob's face. I build his eyes from white blocks of concrete and blue. I build his eyelashes from black concrete. I build SpongeBob's second eye. I continue to build his face. Build up voids with blocks. Build the contour of SpongeBob's head from yellow blocks of concrete.
slightly increase the building in height. I'm building up the voids in SpongeBob's suit. Finishing his shirt. Hmm, I will use a special command to speed up the construction of SpongeBob. With it, I quickly build up the voids in SpongeBob's head. There's only one side left. I'm starting to build SpongeBob's arms out of yellow concrete. Building his other arm on the same principle. Now I make a passage inside. With the help of a special command, I quickly build up the area with the blocks I need. I build up the remaining voids on my own. I put doors. Build a second floor of yellow concrete blocks. Put a spiral staircase to the second floor. Hmm. It's time for furniture. I put a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp. Anvils with foliage for decoration. Bookshelves. Put a brewing stand and a pot of water, a rack for armor, hang a picture on the wall and armor on the rack. I'm going down to the first floor. Hmm, time for furniture. I put anvils with foliage for decoration. Various chests. A workbench and stoves. Add more foliage. Put cabinets for clothes and shoes. Put a carpet on the floor. Great! My SpongeBob house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the second round, I need to build even better than JJ. I'm starting construction. Mikey, what an amazing SpongeBob you've got. Great. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, you've got a great SpongeBob, just amazing. Thanks, Mikey. Round three. In the third round, I will use a special command to quickly build my SpongeBob. Wow, what a wonderful one it turned out to be. I hope he will tell us the secret of a real burger or even cook it. Great, my SpongeBob house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile. In the third round, I need to give my all. I'm starting construction. Great, the third round has come to an end. Wow, Mikey, you've got a great SpongeBob. Well done! Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ, what an amazing SpongeBob you got! I like it! Thank you, Mikey. I am very glad that you like my house. I think we can end here. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye! Good night to you! Thanks for watching friends, subscribe and like, and also don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye!